Hi there, welcome to my views and news, an alarming new story for you from the Amhara region where armed conflict is leading to humanitarian catastrophe if action is not taken. This humanitarian disaster could worsen. UN is considering stopping delivery of aid to the people of the Amhara region. What happened? Why is UN considering suspension of aid delivery to the region? What could be its result? Where is the government? Uh, let's start, viewers. It's not a rumor. A letter has been written. I have details for you. The region is already seeing a humanitarian crisis. It is not being reported because the region is uh, under a blockade, you can say. Blockade means that it's not like uh, Tegaraya was under a blockade, but uh, international media is not allowed. To visit the conflict areas in Amhara. Investigators are not allowed. So that is why only state media is telling us what is happening in the region. But when we talk to people, when we talk to sources, we know that the situation is alarming. For example, what happened in the last five days in the region? Life came to a standstill. Roads without vehicles, uh, movement of vehicles was banned by foreign fighters. Government could not convince people to use roads with vehicles. People were scared and we saw that uh, uh, the elderly suffered, students suffered, businessmen suffered, families suffered, the sick suffered. For five days, Fano implemented uh, a ban on transport in Amhara. The ban has been lifted in Shoa and in Volo, but in Gojum, the ban is still in, in place. So the situation, already the situation in the region is very alarming. Now, the UN. How many Amhara regions, residents are dependent on aid provided by the UN. 2.3 million people in different parts of the Maha region, they receive aid from the UN. Out of 35 million population of Amhara, 2.3 million are active recipients. They receive food aid. Different organizations Charities, UN, under the banner of UN, under the umbrella of UN, rather, they're providing aid, food aid to these people. Provision of this food aid is becoming a challenge now because of the ongoing fighting between Fano and military, because of roadblocks, and because of attacks on aid workers. Are these attacks deliberate? Don't know, but UNOCHA, United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, has written a letter to Ethiopian humanitarian affairs country head. The letter is addressed to the donors as well, to different NGOs working here. This letter states that from January. 2024 to June 2024, in, in, a, in around six months, five aid workers were killed in the Amhara region. Ten were physically assaulted. Eleven were kidnapped. And in September, on the 27th of, 29th of September, Plan International's humanitarian aid worker who was killed. Teclamarium is the name of the aid worker. Five killed, ten assaulted, and eleven kidnapped. UNOCH says that no safety 
security guarantees are being given by the government to aid organizations firstly secondly those aid workers who have been killed or who are missing investigations are not being conducted or the outcome of inquiries investigations is not being shared with the aid organizations so the lives of aid workers in the maha region are in danger they cannot work in this dangerous environment so un oca has written a letter to the relevant authorities that the relevant authorities should consider suspension of delivery of all aid to the people of the amha region it is very alarming goes because if the un suspends delivery of aid to the people of amhara 2.3 million people will suffer who is to blame the government or fano both are to blame mainly government because it's government's responsibility to maintain law and order to provide security to the aid workers to conduct investigations to share the outcome of investigations with aid organizations government is not cooperating why because uh, if aid delivery is suspended obviously government will accuse fano that it's because of fano fano is carrying out attacks on aid workers that is why aid supply has been suspended people are suffering so government will tell people you see these fano fighters are the cause behind suspension of aid deliveries to you they are to blame rise against them uh reject them don't support them oppose them this is what the government would say to the people of the region fano fighters on the other hand they never claim responsibility for attacks on aid workers whenever attacks on aid workers happen they say that uh, government is behind these attacks but fano fighters they claim to be in control of uh, 80% of amhara if you remember skandan naga other fano commanders in the statements claim that 80% of amhara is under fano control if 80% is under their control why can't they ensure smooth safe and secure delivery of aid to the people of the amhara region it means that both are to blame fano must issue a statement fano groups must issue a statement they must tell who killed and abducted aid workers are they ready to cooperate aid organizations and uh, which cooperation they're going to give to aid organizations to provide aid to the people of the region i think fano groups should issue a statement publicly the government should also uh handle this issue in advance because delivery suspension of delivery of aid to people of amhara would be very unfortunate by the way aid organizations uh, continued their work in tigray during war as well in tigray there was full scale war in tigray you know but even during the war a delivery was never fully suspended aid workers were killed there too aid workers were accused of supporting uh, dpl if you remember but suspension did not happen suspension should not happen in the region too uh, because it would be unfortunate people of amhara region would suffer thank you for watching